Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because for the first time in a very long time, I will be doing a full face and first impressions where I actually genuinely have a full face of first impressions. Like there's no like, I'm just gonna throw my brows on. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. If you wanna see a whole basket of goodies, keep on watching. So the first item is going to be the Smooth and Poreless Mineral Sunscreen from Supergoop. This has an SPF 40. It claims that it is a feather light formula to blur and visible appearance of pores, uneven texture, fine lines, leaving a soft focus matte finish, worn alone or under makeup. Oh shoot. Okay, so this has a tint to it. I mean, hopefully it's not so much pigment that it's like weird, but says it works under foundation that looks like foundation oh there we go it's definitely smoothing and blurring everything definitely looks i mean i'm gonna say smooth but we'll see how the foundation sits for foundation i'm finally playing with the hourglass vanish seamless finish foundation i have the shade vanilla which is actually and i'm gonna grab a brush for this this is actually one shade lighter than I used to get in the stick, but directions say you need like a half a pump of this and that's it. So that's all I'm gonna take. So for something that's full coverage with a tiny amount, I definitely think that I need a little bit more. Instead of putting it on the brush, I'm just going to dot a little more of that wherever I typically like to have a little more coverage. For concealer, I have heard about this for literally like almost a decade. People have been raving about this. I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer that was like a beauty guru online favorite for a very long time and I have never actually tried it. So I'm just going to, I hate these plastics and I always think I should unwrap this stuff before I start and I never do. So we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of this up. One issue I have with this already is that this is the lightest shade. I am never the lightest shade in anything. So if you're fairer than I am, you might have an issue finding your shade in this. It stings a little. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I would assume it's not. And I'm gonna take that same brush to blend out the concealer. So I definitely could have gone in with a lot less. With this, a little does go a long way. I'm gonna grab a sponge just to try and soak some of that up. I mean, it definitely looks like it's got a nice finish. Now that we're looking good and ghostly, I'm gonna grab, this is also from Supergoop. This is the Invisible Setting Powder Mineral Sweat Resistant SPF. It's, I actually think the packaging is really cute. It is. Powder down here, and then the SPF kind of comes through the brush. Am I getting any? Ooh, now I'm starting to get some. So I'm just going to make sure we have no creases and I'm gonna use this just to set down the face. So it definitely feels like everything is set down nicely. Now that it's drying down a bit, the concealer doesn't look quite as vibrantly stark. I mean a little bit, but not much. I'm gonna take a touch of that concealer just because it did dry down pretty matte. And I'm just gonna take that to prime my eyelids and I'm gonna set it down with that same powder. And by using that powder to set down that eye primer, we now have sun protection on our lids. Fabulous. I'm gonna throw on my brows. I have used a million pencils, but I've been really into brow gels for a while now. And I have never actually tried the Gimme Brow. So I have the shade 4.5 and let's, See how it works. 
So right off the bat, this is applying very easily. There's a little, I'm gonna say more pigment, but no fibers or maybe less fibers than in my Milk Brow, which you guys know I am a huge fan of. This one is just looking a little bit softer than my brows normally are which is not always a bad thing, but it was definitely super easy. They're looking a little warm on camera. Like, I don't know if this color is too auburny. I like my brows to be a little ashier, and I feel like in the monitor, my brows are looking very red. Let me know if you guys see that too, or if it's just me, but I'm definitely seeing redness in my brows that I don't really like. For the cheeks, this is the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. Again, there's a sticker that I forgot to take off. So I'm just going to do contour, blush, and bronze with this. All right, so the bronzer went on a little bit patchy, or the contour, I don't dislike it. The blush is very pretty, and I think it's apparent that it's there. The highlight is definitely a lot, like, softer, more natural than I tend to go for. But the good thing is I also picked up another shade of the Maybelline Master Chrome. I absolutely love this formula, but I don't have this color. These are so much prettier than that highlight. So I'm going to take a little bit of this on my brush and show you guys. Oh, much better. See how much instantly, like so much glow and that is why that highlight is not it but this one everything i'm going to take a touch more of that blush just to kind of blend everything together because again that contour shade was a little on the patchy side so we're going to try and overcompensate by doubling the amount of blush we're putting on so at this point we're going to set down the face this is the defense refresh setting mist broad spectrum spf 50 also from super goop this is a collaboration with Rebecca Taylor. It is a lavender scented setting spray. Ooh, it's a very nice mist. Ooh, and then it started shooting me. So I don't know if my mister is defective, but this is, like, you guys see that mist, and then there's one squirt coming out of it. So I'm going to have to contact them because I think that this is defective. It was a little stingy and it smells like there's tea tree in there. So it seems like it's gonna be oil controlling. The formula smells nice, but mine, maybe I didn't shake it enough. Maybe that's the problem. Nope, still shooting. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure that out because the nozzle definitely is spitting. So we don't wanna mess anything up, but formula smells nice. If it's actual sun protection, that's also going to be really good. For eyes, I am going to finally be using the Huda Nude palette that I have had in my collection for a whole long time, but have never even swatched. So I'm going to grab some eye brushes. And let's see, I have used the Huda shadows before, not this one. So I'm going to start by dipping into the shade Play up here. And I'm going to use that just to throw in the transition then taking a slightly smaller brush i'm going to go into secret the mauve shade down here and i'm going to plug that right into the socket <laughs> plug it into the socket that was funny i'm getting a little bit more kick up in the pan out of this shade which doesn't bother me it means that i can get more pigment if i want to but if you're super sensitive to powder buildup in your pans. You might not love that. I'm going to take a little bit more Secret mixed with Teddy, this shade down here, and I'm just going to deepen up the outer V. Jumping back into that last brush with no additional product, just going to blend up the edges. I'm going to grab a detail brush and go into Tease. It's like a matte gray plum and I'm just going to take this on an angle from outer corner down to lash line and then blend that out I'm gonna take those same shades and just basically mirror all of that on the lower lash 
For the lid, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the shade Crave up here and I'm gonna use my finger to apply that. Oh, that is really, really vibrant. So I know that that's metallic enough, but I'm also gonna grab, this is from Tarte. This is the new Sweet Life Eye Topper or Sea Glass from Rainforest of the Sea collection, which is basically like a liquid shadow. I, more is more. So let's not amp it up a little bit. I'm just gonna grab a packer brush and take a little bit of this over the top for a little extra sparkle. I mean, that was pretty blinding already. And now, all of the sparkles. For mascara, the item I was probably the most excited for, this is the Caviar Volume Mascara from Laura Mercier. It, panoramic volume is what it claims. And I am going to be the one to test that. The brush looks like this double helix, like DNA, the spirally. So I feel like it's gonna be really good at coating lashes. Let's take a look, because I don't plan on wearing falsies today, so let's hope that this does something. So I'm loving this already. Um, I like my lashes to be very long, very black, but I want my lash to be completely curled and a lot of mascaras I've noticed in general with my lashes tend to clump them together. With this one, there is zero clumping, like because of the way the bristles are, and I'm kind of like a round brush, I'm kind of curling as I go, I'm finding that I am getting every hair completely covered, but nothing is getting sticky or clumpy. It just looks like my lashes accentuated, which if I'm wearing falsies, I don't care as much, but if I'm just wearing mascara, I want to make sure that it looks like my lashes. I don't want it to look clumpy, and I don't want a whole lot of volume. I just want what my lashes naturally do, just a little longer and darker. So I'm just going to let this dry down, and I'm going to build up a second coat on both eyes, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back, and it didn't really build up too much, but I don't actually care because I think this looks really nice, and my lashes just look fluttery and natural, which for me is like go-to mascara. So I'm gonna have to test this as far as longevity, but right now, as far as initial application, I am really enjoying it. So the last item, this is from Buxom. This is their new Cereal Kisser Plumping Lip Stain. I have it in the shade Makeout. It is, oh, a nice thick doe foot applicator and supposedly plumping. I feel like everything is very mauve today, so let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's definitely a very thin formula. It's basically, it basically smells like you're rubbing melted sorbet on your lips, and it kind of feels the same. A little sticky, and there's definitely not a lot of pigment. Like, my lips are definitely stained. It is clearly a stain, but it doesn't feel like a lipstick or a lip gloss. So I'm not disliking it, but it definitely is something I would still layer something else on top of. It's also on camera. I don't know why it's translating a little more red in person. It's very mauve. Now, because the setting spray was spitting at me, I'm going to grab a little bit of another setting spray to set down. This is not a first impression. I know I love this product. However, because the mister on this was giving me hell, we still want this to look its best. So I'm going to let this dry down and I'll be right back to go over final thoughts. All right, so going through the face, the Matte Mineral Sunscreen. I like it for SPF. It's definitely a little blurring. I still see a lot of texture on my cheeks, so I wouldn't use this on its own as a blurring primer. However, I think it could be something really good to pair with maybe another primer if you are using something else for blurring and using this as a sunscreen. I did like the foundation. I'm gonna have to play with it some more because I did get a little bit of settling and I don't know if that's because of the foundation or because the powder wasn't great. I do, this is the one real downside to first impressions is I can't tell what's messing up. It's great when everything works really well and it's 100% amazing, but on a day like today where things are looking just okay, 
I'm gonna have to do my research to figure out what is causing problems. The concealer, I definitely don't think it's as light as I thought it was. Everything is looking nice. My under eye is not super creasy or cracky. I have coverage where I need it, so I think the concealer was good. The brow, it's still looking a little red to me on camera. Let me know down below if my brows look red, because if they do, that's gross. The Kill the Shine powder, there's a little luminous to my skin, so let's see how this will touch up. So it's definitely taking down shine. I feel like as someone who is very oily, who might want to touch up throughout the day, this is something that could work really well for me, but I would want to see how this will make some of my favorite foundations last to see it as an actual setting powder. I mean, even if it's just to touch up, I think that's going to be something useful, but I am going to want to see if it will also set well. The mist, I, I wish I loved this. It is spitting at me. I'm not okay with that. So I'm going to have to figure out shake, shake, shake well before use. Super shaking balls will mix the biphase formula evenly. Pull your hair back, close your eyes, tuck in lips and spray in a circle 10 inches from your face. I'm going to shake the hell out of this and try one more time and hope that this will work. Nope, that's still spitting. Like there's still... Actually, I might have fixed it. Nope. Still spitting out of this bottom corner. So I'm going to have to figure that out because that's not okay. But I like the formula. Like my skin feels nice after it, except for the places that I got shot. Uh, the lip plumper I don't love and I'm probably going to not use again. The lip definitely is not quite as mauve as it is in here. It's a lot more red and it's definitely a lip stain and I don't love lip stains. So not for me. The eye combo I think looks really pretty and I'm happy with it, but I am creasing a little. So I'm going to want to test that out with my paint pot. Cheek palette is a pass, but the highlighter is amazing. And star of the show is going to be the Laura Mercier uh, mascara. I really like the way my lashes look. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are. And please, do my brows look crazy or is it just me? Thanks again and I'll see you guys later. Bye.